adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. I'll take that. Well, here we are, Pancho. That is Apple Valley. Hey, Cisco. What are those men doing down there? They're not picking apples, Pancho. Come on. Okay. Yeah. What about her? You have to ask that, you nitwit. Shoot her. That runaway team will kill her for sure. Head for the hideout, boys. I'll see you later. Are you all right, miss? Oh, I'm just a bit shaky. Sit down. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mr. I'm known as Cisco. Cisco? You mean the Cisco kid? At your service. Oh, my uncle told me a lot of stories about you. He knew you quite well. Jim Stark. Well, well. What a surprise. You are Jim's niece? My friend Pancho and I were on our way to visit your uncle. I'm afraid that'll be impossible. Impossible? Why? Uncle Jim's dead. Dead? When did that happen? Three weeks ago. Murdered. Who did it? I wish I knew. But Uncle Jim's lawyer wrote to me and said the law was still looking for the killer. I was on my way to see the lawyer when those outlaws robbed me and killed the driver. They stole all your money? Yes, and my papers, too. Papers? Were they very important? Well, they consisted of my birth certificate and other documents to establish my identity. You see, Mr. Holden wrote that my uncle left me his entire estate that I should bring proof of my identity when they probate the will. Oh, I see. It will be very hard for you to prove who you are without those papers, wouldn't it? No doubt. But I'm sure Mr. Holden will vouch for me. You see, I met him back east several years ago with my uncle.
Get those papers? Sure did. Good work, Nebraska. Well, Stella, by this time tomorrow, you'll be back in St. Louis. And $5,000 richer. I wish it was all over with. This waiting around to play the part of Mary Stark is giving me the jitters. Stop worrying. With these papers in our hands, nothing can go wrong. Get rid of the girl? Well, no. The horses ran off with her. They bolted when Larry shot the driver. But she probably got killed anyway when the wagon cracked up. And maybe it didn't crack up. Keep your eyes open just in case. It wouldn't do to have her show up at the probate hearing. Pancho, you wait here for us. Bandidos don't look so happy, don't they? Pancho, there were four of them. Did you see where the other one went? No, I just followed these three. Cisco, what are you looking for? Some other papers the girl lost. Maybe with the other bandido. Maybe he got them. Pancho, take them to the sheriff and wait there for me. <laughs> bueno. I'm going after the girl. What's the matter? That Stark girl, she's heading this way with a couple of strangers. So nothing could go wrong, eh, George? Well, this is where I'm clearing out. Shut up. Take her in the other room. Good morning. What can I do for you folks? Well, don't you recognize me? I'm Mary Stark, Jim Stark's niece. Well, we met back east several years ago. Don't you remember? I'm sorry I don't. However, won't you sit down? Thank you. Uh, these are my friends, the Cisco Kid and Pancho. We're also the friends of Jim Stark, Mr. Holden. Yeah, and the sheriff, he told us he didn't catch the killers yet. But he will, rest assured of that. Murder will out, I always say. So do I. Won't you be seated? No, thank you. So you're Mary Stark. That's right. You have proof of identity with you, I presume? No, I haven't. You see, all of my papers were stolen from me this morning. If it hadn't been for Cisco and Pancho, why, I wouldn't be here. The three men who robbed her are in jail. And locked up good and tight. I see. Well, I'm afraid that without proof of identity, it's useless for you to lay claim to the Stark estate, miss. Well, certainly they'll take your word for it that I'm Mary Stark. There's more than $250,000 involved. Now, you can hardly expect me to uh, say I know you when, frankly, I don't. 
Mary, don't you have friends back east who can prove who you are? Yes, I have. Well, then we'll send for them. When they get here, everything will be a hunky doodly just like that, huh? <laughs> but what if the judge arrives before my friends do? Then Pancho and I will try to persuade the judge to postpone the hearing a while, eh, Pancho? Hey, it's a good looking thing, and I will talk to him good and sweet. Uh, oh, the judge! Oh, my. The, what am I saying? The, the judge and the sheriff and. Oh, frijoles and tamales. <laughs> Gee, willikers. Don't mind, Pancho. He always is making jokes. Come, Mary. We'll get you a room at the hotel. Goodbye, Miss Holden. Goodbye. Be sure and keep in touch with me, miss. I will. I don't like this farce. That Cisco and Pancho are bad medicine. And I, for one, want no part of them. I'm leaving. Oh, no, you're not. I brought you out here to do a job, and you're not leaving until it's finished. But we'll never get away with it. Oh, yes, we will. Nebraska, you're going to get the boys out of jail. Right under the sheriff's nose, eh? No, not exactly. I'm going to take him out to the Stark Ranch with me to check over a few things. What then? I want you to take care of the girl. But first, get Cisco and Pancho. And I don't care how. Go down by the alley. We'll get him at a crossfire. Hey, Cisco. Yes, Pancho. Look, those men across the street. They look like the men they put in jail, no? Look out, Pancho! Did they get away, Cisco? Yes, Pancho. We'll never find them around here. I, did you know who they was? I think they were the men we put in jail. Yeah, but those dummies are locked up tight in the jail. They could have escaped. Pancho, uh, the girl, oh. let's get back to the hotel. Come.
kill for me, Pancho. Well, see you later, Sheriff. Find her, Cisco? No, Pancho. You mean she disappeared like a tortilla when Pancho is hungry? Say, you think maybe the bandits get her again? Maybe. Hey, Cisco, I just see that lawyer man go over to his office. Good. Let's have a talk with that lawyer. Where is Miss Stark? You mean the girl who calls herself Miss Stark? How should I know? I'm not her keeper. What's more, I don't like your attitude. You don't, eh? No, I don't. And furthermore... You think he grabbed her, Cisco? Not only that, Pancho. He's responsible for those men getting out of jail. And for the attack on us, too. But well, what are we waiting for? He didn't want for me. We don't want any trouble, Pancho. Now, look. Tell me where the girl is. I told you I don't know. Don't you? Me, Cisco. Oh, you're out of your minds, both of you. I tell you, I don't know where she is. Now tell me where Mary Stark is, or I'll beat it out of you. What in thunder's going on around here? Don't let me shoot, boy. Get your hands up. They were trying to kill me, Sheriff. Arrest him. Arrest him, do you hear? He's not telling the truth, Sheriff. Peabody, I'm swearing out a warrant for assault and battery and attempted murder. Now lock them up with this county and have a new sheriff. All right, head toward the jail. It, it was Sheriff, I didn't do nothing. I was only looking. Oh, All right, get going. Hey, boss, what happened to you? Uh, just a little momentum from the Cisco kid. How'd you and the boys fall down on the job? Well, we just couldn't help it. Oh, well, no matter. With Cisco and Pancho safely in jail, everything is under control. How'd the girl take it? What do you mean? You got rid of her, didn't you? Didn't you? No, boss. We couldn't find her at the hotel or anywhere else. Why, you... Cisco! It was Sheriff. Mary, how did you manage to escape? Escape? Yeah, from the bandidos. What bandidos? The ones that took you prisoner yesterday. I wasn't taken prisoner. Then where were you? Well, I went down to the railhead to send a wire to some of my friends to help establish my identity as Mary Stark. But why didn't you tell us before you go? I guess I just didn't think about it. When I got back, you weren't around, so I came over here to talk to the sheriff. She was telling me what Holden was up to when you boys got into that scrap with him. Well, you believe her, don't you, Sheriff? Why, of course. Then why did you arrest us? <laughs> why, you're not under arrest. Here are your guns. I just brought you boys over here because Miss Stark was waiting for you. <laughs> you know, Cisco, this is the nicest sheriff I never did see. I think I'm going to like him. <laughs> Say, Sheriff, when will the probate judge arrive here? He's already arrived. As a matter of fact, he's going to hold a hearing on Jim's will in about an hour. Oh, Cisco, the evidence I wired for won't arrive for at least a week. Don't worry, Mary. Look, I found this woman's cigarette case on Holden's desk. It has the initial S.J. No doubt he'll try to palm off the owner as you. If that is true, how are you going to stop him? The sheriff can do that much easier, Pancho. It's more important that we prove that Holden is responsible for Jim's murder and the killing of the driver. I think I have an idea. Hmm. It'll be quite a surprise for Mr. Holden. Any sign of the Stark girl? Not yet. Whatever happens, don't let her in the courtroom. Cisco, this I don't understand. Why didn't we shoot that man in front of the hotel and then go tell the judge about Mr. Holdens? Because, Pancho, we don't have actual proof against him. We've got to make him expose himself. Well, I will do what you told me, but it's much more easy to expose him to a bullet.
Mr. Stark, these papers are quite in order. And I'm prepared to declare your sole and legal heirs to your uncle's estate as soon as the necessary documents are drawn up. Your Honor, I've already drawn up the necessary papers for your signature. I believe you'll find them in order. My client would appreciate your prompt attention. Don't move anyone. What is the meaning of this outrage? Your Honor, many years ago I swore vengeance against Jim Stark and his family. He is dead. But one member of the family remains, Mary Stark. She too will be dead in one minute. I'm going to kill her. No, no, don't shoot. Don't let him shoot me. I'm not Mary Stark. I'm not her. Please, don't kill me. Don't lie to me. If you're not Mary Stark, then why are you claiming to be an heiress to Jim Stark's estate? I don't. I'm not her. He can tell you that I'm Stella Jackson. Oh, she's lying, Your Honor. She gave proof to me that she was Mary Stark. I don't know what she's talking about. That's not the truth, Your Honor. He is lying. He's also responsible for the murder of Jim Stark and the driver. Something must have gone wrong. Come on. Yes, that's you. Drop your guns. He said George would like to see you inside. Under it. Well, everything will be all right now, miss. I'm sure it will. And thank you for everything, Cisco. What's the matter, Pancho? Cisco, why they call this place Apple Valley? <laughs> I look, I search all around, and I find this tired-looking old wrinkled apple. But it's not the season for apples, Pancho. Well, Pancho will enjoy it. Well, go ahead and enjoy it. Yeah, I can enjoy it when somebody lives in there. <laughs> hey, Pancho, he don't like apples anyhow. <laughs> oh, Pancho. Oh, Cisco. <laughs> Let's win. Goodbye, amigos. 